This is the ending part of this video training on Facebook ads in 2023. Now in this ending part, we are talking about the Facebook sales campaign objective or call it the Facebook sales campaign objective. If you have been following all this training from the way we started to now, you must have come across a lot of different tactics and also strategies that you can use and also learn different areas of Facebook advertising. Now in this particular one, now we are talking about the Facebook sales campaign objective, which is one of the things that people use mostly to sell products and mostly people who use this particular ad objective sell things online their aim is to drive sales to get people that will buy from them either on their website or on their dms or facebook or whatsapp or messenger or instagram now in this video it's going to be two or three videos in one which we explain everything about facebook sales campaign so the first thing we need to do normally is to go to create you hit on the create button you scroll down you select the sales if you select sales this simply means you are looking for people who are likely to purchase your product or services and it's best goods for conversions if you have set up your facebook pixel very very well or the landing pages which you want to drive traffic you can retarget these people back and also create a custom audience and also create a look alike audience this is very helpful if you sell things online and people who do affiliate marketing use this sales campaign objective as well so welcome to this video again the first thing i will do now is when you click on sales you have to name your campaign what i'm going to name it i'm going to name it as sa this is what i normally do on my since we started this class this is the asset level right this is the main ad so you name your ad campaign to differentiate you with other campaigns you are creating for me now i know what is all about this i know the name of this i know what this stands for now this particular video now this particular one stands for sales campaign or sales ads or conversion ads i'll click on continue before you click on this thing now they are going to show you two different options to choose from is either you're going for the inter the automatic one or the manual one like i said before if you have been using facebook for the last three years you must understand a lot of changes or see a lot of changes on the interviews which normally this thing does not show when you start creating your sales campaign or your conversion ads so they're going to ask you to choose advantage or ask you to choose manual advantage means automatic shopping campaign objective now i'm going to use manual because i want to see and also control my ads and everything so I'm going to choose manual. You can set to go with automatic to see how it works. But if you want to get more control over your campaign and over your ad budget and over everything you are doing on your sales campaign, you need to go with the manual. You click on it. You click on continue. When you click on continue, you're going to open up. The first thing is you need to select how much you want to spend on your campaign, the buying type, the campaign objective, which is the sales. The sales is the same thing as conversion ads. Now, most people will come here if you decide to go with the AP text. AP text here simply means after hitting on the publish button of your sales campaign on Facebook, automatically the system will load up a new interface or a dialog box which will duplicate the recent one, which means this particular one I'm creating now, the system will duplicate the exact same thing and also tell us to target another audience or placement or location. Right? On this particular one, now, I'm not going to click on it because i'm not going to publish this ad right i'm not going to publish this ad because it's just for testing purposes and also for this class so what i'm going to do now is this video is going to be divided into several sessions so i'm going to be leaving this particular one now on the next video i'm going to select advantage campaign budget to also show you some little things about it i'll click on continue remember if you want to start using sales campaign if you want to get lots of people to buy your product the copies and the elements, the images of your products, the videos you want to use should be on your page. This will help people when they come to your page, they will see reactions, they will see comments, they will see engagement of people who have engaged in your ad. They will like to buy immediately they see these things. People who make this mistake of not posting the content they want to use, first of all, on their page are making a whole lot of mistakes and I don't want you to make that mistakes. So right now, we are going to search for the conversion location which we want facebook to also show our ad the first thing is 
where do you want to drive these sales? Where do you want to drive people to come and see your campaign? This is the most important thing. Where do you want them to come and see this product you are selling? Is it on your website or the application, mobile app? Is it on your website or application? Or is it on your messaging apps? Or you want them to call you? So mostly, if you are living in Nigeria, this campaign objective, which is the core campaign objective, will not work because people don't have the time to come and call you unless you are doing local arbitrage this is when people can call you but for this particular sales campaign objective you can do it use it as well on your sales product on your physical product when you are doing e-commerce now if you want to go into e-commerce business or you want to go more deeper into e-commerce or want to learn how to do e-commerce business i have a course for that that will show you more about facebook sales campaign or objectives so right now i'm going to select only website leads i have not tried using app because I think my business is mostly about sales so I will select website and your website must be a landing page that has a call to action button where the users the people who you are targeting will come on the landing page to click on it to get your product and also get your services going on this training the first thing you need to do now is they will ask you to select the performance goal you want to target if you are too smart enough you will leave it at maximize number of conversions people made a mistake probably they come back here and choose other goals i'm not saying it's very very bad to choose another goals but leave it at default the way facebook said it should be remember the first ad you create on facebook is a text ad it's not a proper ad so don't go and fill in your budget in the ad you might end up losing the money and also end up not getting anything you text different ad creative you test different ad copies you train different ad objections to find out the one that can work for you so right now i'm going to leave it at maximize number of conversion then the pcl which i told you the last video the first or second video of this course or this training which is the one i created a campaign and also create the pcl the pcl you want to use will appear here you select the pcl you want to use this pcl code must be installed inside your website now they're going to ask you the next thing is the conversion event what do you want to target what is that thing you want to target on your campaign before we go into this particular area let me show you something i have a landing page which i want to use to promote my book which is this particular one here called the online marketing ebook opt-in this is the particular landing page i want to use i will still edit it to suit my need now i want people to come here this is going to be a form where they will click on the form, right? They will commit, submit their emails and you take them to the thank you page. There is something about Facebook ads conversion that you need to understand. Your books or your landing page must be well optimized very, very fast. And also the PCL must be there so that you can track and also know how many people that you get and also how much you spend on your campaign on every day. So normally this campaign and also this landing page don't have a PCL code which we are going to be doing in this video so look at the landing page i will still edit this campaign put my own copies and everything inside it and use it for my own product i want to sell or book i want to sell so going on here i'll select a conversion event these are my old events which i created on this facebook business manager but not all of them is not active because facebook did not allow me to use it anymore what i want to do now or what i want to do is for you to get the maximum result, you click on define a new custom conversion. Click on it. When you click on it, just name it anything. Just name it anything. I'll just say book opt-in. Here is what you just need to do. It. Then the details or for context, you can leave this particular one description is optional. You select the data source. The data source is the piece you created. We have only one pixel event which is the website event for dig vtx then the event is website url all of them the whole traffic coming to this particular landing page i'll copy the landing page first of all i'll come back here i'll put the link the same rules okay rules then you click on here you can leave on url like this you can click on contain i'll put it at equals i normally put my own at equals so I put the link here. 
reason why i put on equals if you pay attention to this link here it has dash or it has a slash here you understand you can see the two link here so this, you can see this one now you can see this one now these are the same link but most times i don't know how facebook normally work in their own way they have their own stupidity they can perform at any time so most times your campaign will be running and facebook will not be getting you the real people who are coming to your landing pages so i always put it as equals then i'll come back here if i want to i'll click on enter conversion then i'll just say something like 50. it doesn't really matter if you put the numbers right you click on create if you want to go into deeper into facebook ads if you want to learn more about facebook ads i want me to teach you about facebook ads you need to pay me also to teach you and also to help you to run your ad if you want to but if you're in this class, that means you are learning and you want to get your stuff up and running by yourself so i'll click on done right now what i'm going to do now is i'll select the campaign i just created now the event i created now let me just find it look at it here i'll click on book opt-in if you click on it because you just created it right now they're going to ask you for a pixel code so that you can put on the landing page because here we don't have any pixel that is tracking this particular landing page so we go back we click on view code we click on view code you're going to see a code that going to give it to you on the dialog box which is this color one now here then you need to add an event code add an event code is basically i want to add lead the, i'll just create purchase this is the purchase i want to get okay do that here now click on it then i'll click on done what i want to do now is to install this piece of code on this landing page what i will do is i'll come to the landing page builder which is a particular one now click on it when i click on the landing page this is how i'm going to install this code and i hope it works the way i expect it to work so what i'm going to do now is i'll click on settings normally i have a plugin that i use for my landing pages so i'll show you how to do it as well when this trend is still coming up i'll click on settings i'll click on custom scripts i'll put the script inside this box this is a script that will track all the whole opt-in and people coming to the landing page what i'll do again is because i like to target a lot of people i'll click on view pixel again because i have different events i want to target i'll come back i'll click on see more events what i need now is the lead i'll copy the same lead again it's just the same code we are copying so i'll come here i'll give space paste it i'll click on save settings all right i have installed this piece of code inside this landing page and what i'm going to do is to allow this piece of code to perform its magic combining with facebook systems so what i'm going to do now is while it is saving up i'll go back to my facebook ad creation series i'll close it up and i'll come back here like i normally say don't go and click on dynamic creative if you unless you want to go deeper into facebook ad creations so what i'm going to do now is on the budget side you select the budget you want to run your ad maybe daily or lifetime i will always show you how to do these things i will leave it in like this but for testing purposes i always go for two five five thousand ten thousand as the case may be depending on the product i'm selling i'll text different budget to see how it performs right here the first thing i will do on my campaign that i'm setting up is i normally use broad targeting that means i'm not targeting any particular person but what i'm going to do is to exclude people based on age depending on the kind of product you are selling what i will do here is i'll come to age i'll select 25 Select the one that can work for you. The age limit I want to select now is going to be 40 years. I don't care what I'm selling. I don't care who my app. I don't want to know how old people are. I just want to just 24 to 25 to 40 years. Depending on the kind of product you are selling, you can select either gender, man or woman. And you're up and running. So right now, the language I would select is normally English. I don't want people who don't understand English to come to my funnel. 
I don't have that time to be explaining things with another language. I don't know how to speak other languages. So I'm going to leave it like this. If you have something in mind, people probably people you don't want to see your ad, you can exclude them. People who have that interest, I already show these things on the previous video you watched. You can click on exclude and type in the interest of the people you don't want them to see your ad. Now let's keep on going. Right here we have the placement. The normal first thing you need to do on your campaign when you start running a new campaign is a text in is to leave it at advantage, which is the automatic placement. You leave it, you click on next. This is the simplest way to get more people to see your product. Now, if you target people and the first campaign you use on the texting aspect is giving you a lot of people to come to your funnel and also come to your product, what you need to just do is to go back to your ad campaign and click on the ad you are using and click on another text. Then it will show you the amount of people who are coming to your funnel, the age range, the interest, the location. Then you use that same model. Now create another ad. Or you can duplicate that one you are, you are, you are watching the analytics and select that age range and push money there and text it again. Like I said, you can create as many as five campaigns at once to be able to find the one that can work for you. So that being said, you select this is the main campaign ad you are running. You select the Facebook page, right? Select the Facebook page. You now come here, create your ad setup. Normally, like I said before, the first thing you need to do on a campaign is if you want to maintain your Facebook page to make it to be interactive, also be to be engaging, post the content first of all on your Facebook page before you run the ad. So I'm going to click on create ad. I'm going to click on existing post because I want to sell something and I want to drive traffic to my post. So what I'm going to do, I'll click on select post. If I click on select post, I'm going to select that post that I made, which is this one. I can set to tell any post. I have a lot of posts on my page already. So I will just say something like this. Click on post, continue. Now, this is the post I want to use. You can see when this thing appears now, you can see how the thing appears now. Let me show you something. Now, there's something about Facebook lead or ad conversion ads, lead uh, campaign. Where you are targeting people is your website. And you want to show them that this particular website now, they can actually see or you want them to click on, you want them to click on a particular page. Now, let me, so let me show you something I want to do now. Is I want to click on a date. Look at my, what I'm targeting now. This gets started now. I'll click on change. Then I will remove this website URL. I'll copy this one. Come here. I'll paste it. This is what I want to target. The call to action button, which is learn more. You select the one that suits you, that matches your interest. Click on learn more. Click on update post. Now, anytime somebody sees this post and sees this my content and click on it on the link facebook is going to track that person's activity on the page and also get it as a sales or lead remember i'm targeting lead and also targeting conversion on my landing page right then after that you click on publish now in the next video i'm also going to show you how to structure this thing because we need to add some little events on this landing page on these particular things we just created right now so that is going to be all for this video thank you so much for watching i also share this video to your friends it's a free video and also a free course on everything about facebook ad so thank you and i'll see you on the next video